Welcome back, folks. We're here with the CEO of Brevard Physicians Network, Brenda Radke, Andy Cameron, uh, with also with BPN. I'm one of the world's greatest all-time runners and a legend. Uh, I'm a big fan of yours, Frank, so it's a real honor to see you here this weekend. Frank Shorter was the gold medalist in the 1972 Summer Olympics, was the gold medalist in the Pan Am Games in 1971 in the marathon, and also won the 10,000 meters, I think, at the Pan Am Games in 71. Right, Frank? Right, but more importantly, I'm a Gator. That's but right. but uh, but I'm a law school graduate. I am not. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Good answer. But right? believe it or not, I did spend time in medical school because okay. at Yale, I was as an undergrad, I was a pre-med. Spent some time in medical school. Decided I would take time off to try to make the Olympic team, and never made it back to med school. So I was down here training with some friends of mine in Gainesville, got bored and said, ah, heck, I'll go to law school. <laughs> so I went to law school and ran 20 miles a day instead and made the Olympic team. Interesting. Well, uh, what do we expect to see you doing here this weekend at the marathon? Well, I'm going to run the 8K, which is five miles for all of us who are decimally challenged. <laughs> and <laughs> really. And, and from an orthopedic standpoint, I am coming back from a new procedure called a hip resurfacing. Okay, which, yes, you yeah. know, in, in medical terms is, is, is really a godsend for people like me. Because years ago, I fell down on the bike in a race and I damaged my hip and it probably accelerated the osteoarthritis in my hip. I had to have it either replaced or resurfaced. Luckily, even though I was over 60, from all the running I'd done, I had the bone density so that I could have this newer procedure that allows for impact. So now I'm, yeah, now I'm working my way back up. And the way I look at it is, I'm my own ongoing anecdotal experiment yep. <laughs> here, you know, on how to stay out there and how to stay active. That's great. So, yeah, really. That's really wonderful. You know, and, 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 you know, again, from a medical point of view, we're so happy <laughs> that you're here for us athletes because, you know, I don't view it as bad. I don't view it as bad luck. I view it as this happened at a time in medical history where things could be done that could actually benefit me and keep me out there. So it's, you know, you know, it's, it's sort of the glass half full, half empty. Mm -hmm. That's how I view it. So I'm gonna be running the 8K, I'm on my way back and we'll see how the new hip goes. And, and the good thing about it is I can set personal bests on a new hip in every race I run. <laughs> there you go. So I don't have to, I don't have to worry about personal records. Okay, so you're not challenging yourself as much as what you used to. Okay, that's a good well, way. Well, that's wonderful. You know, uh, BPN has over 300 physicians in their network and, of course, some, some real specialists in orthopedics. And so uh, oh, to, yeah. to see you coming back uh, in that regard, you know, it's a real inspiration to many people. Oh, I, and I've, I've done this. You don't want to go through my orthopedic history. <laughs> But the whole point is, I think we're a different generation. Yeah. You know, I am not the way my parents were at my age. I don't look like they did, mm -hmm. and, I'm, and I don't behave the way they did. And I think so we're, we're you know, we're embarking on a whole new era in medicine, really, to keep yeah. people out there active, involved, and healthy for as long as possible. Well, you're a great role model. Thank you so much for coming and joining us this weekend. You know, the Melbourne Marathon is a huge event for our area, and to have people like yourself and Zola and Bill, it's it's wonderful. So thank you so much for coming. Oh yeah, it was a great thrill to see Zola because she's she's wonderful. Yes, she is. Thank you so much. Thank you.